Out here in Navajo Mountain, people have uh, lived too long without water, you know. And so in essence, we cherish whatever water that we can get, and without it, we're pretty much doomed. Okay, pause. To understand how we got here, let me take you back. Almost two million Americans still don't have clean running water. Four years ago, Dig Deep set out to change that. People said, that's impossible, especially on the Navajo Nation. But you don't have to tackle impossible all at once. We started with one water truck and one driver. That's Darlene. We bought new trucks, built new wells, and then we brought running water to the Bensons. Then another family. Within a month, 10 families. Within a year, solar power too. And now the Navajo Water Project serves nine towns across New Mexico. Just this week, 12 people turned on the tap for the first time ever. Dig Deep has grown. We're plumbers and school bus drivers, moms and dads, aunties and uncles, and Dig Deep is you too. This year, thousands of Americans will donate five, 25, 50 bucks, and together we'll invest over a million dollars to bring Americans clean running water. Now, communities in Utah and Arizona are asking for our help too, which brings us back to right now. Uh, my name is uh, Hank Stevens, and I'm the Navajo Mountain chapter president. When I talk about Navajo Mountain, we're so remote and isolated that infrastructures and some of the funds depletes before it gets to us. I'm not a politician by any means. The only thing I do is I, I kind of listen to people and, and try to hear them out. People thought we'd never have running water here. But Dick Deep is doing that in other parts of the reservation, so it is possible. I've only got two and a half years left in my position. Hopefully, it will see the light at the end of that tunnel and prepare a water system for not just for us, but the next generation. Navajo Mountain may be remote, but we're not doing this on our own anymore. We're doing this with you. <laughs>